This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. Fox News is all in on disinformation, on propaganda, especially where it relates to the vaccine, especially where it relates to to undermining, to thwarting, to derailing the efforts to get past the coronavirus. I don't know if it's because of the drama of it all. I don't know if it's their 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 dedication to chaos. I don't know what the motivation is. But many of their chief anchors, their infotainers, uh, Laura Ingram and Sean Hannity, Tucker Carlson, are all sowing discord among Americans and sowing discontent, um, misery, uh, hesitancy rel- relative to whether they should get the vaccine. And Tucker Carlson, who's got all kinds of opinions about the military, having never served, having never done a day of hard work in his life, having only gone to elite schools because he's the the heir to the Swanson frozen food uh, billions. Because he's a rich brat. That's what he is. Uh, Tucker Carlson took to the air last night and is criticizing a move that the military is making to encourage, now they're requiring, I think they have until December to get the vaccine, but he is, he is is trying to sow discontent within the United States military, which goes against good order and discipline and unit cohesion is what he's trying to do. Uh, watch this clip from last night's show and then let's talk about what a dumbass he is. The point of mandatory vaccination is to identify the sincere Christians in the ranks, the free thinkers, the men with high testosterone levels, and anyone else who does not love Joe Biden and make them leave immediately. It's a takeover of the U.S. military. Here's how they're doing it. This show has just obtained a PowerPoint that the Army is using to justify mandatory vaccines to the troops. This is an actual slide from it on your screen. You will notice there the sympathetic portrayal of Satanism. How many children were sacrificed to Satan because of the vaccine? The slide reads apparently sarcastically. Then the presentation proceeds to list the so-called tenets of Satanism, which are taken straight from the Temple of Satanism website. So here you have the United States Army doing PR for Satanism. The rest of the presentation is less shocking than that, but it's utterly shoddy and dishonest. For example, it falsely claims that only three people have died from taking the COVID vaccine. Reports collected by the Biden administration itself indicate that number is actually in the thousands. Look, this is straight up Alex Jones shit. That's what this is. This is invoking Satanism that the army or the military is is uh, running PR, public relations for Satanism. I mean, seriously, the next thing we know, uh, Tucker Carlson's going to be rambling on about the water making the frogs gay. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Do you understand that? Ugh, ugh, serious crap. Let's let's cover some of these points. That the the military trying to get its people vaccinated to one get a hold of this pandemic, but also make certain that the ranks are safe is to identify the sincere Christians. Because, you know, there's only Christians in our military, in the ranks. The free thinkers, the men with high testosterone levels. What is he even talking about? And anybody else who doesn't love Joe Biden and make them leave immediately. Again, Alex Jones shit. First of all, let's let's cover that last number he talked about. About how many people have died after having taken the COVID vaccine. Um... One, reports of uh, death from the COVID vaccines are rare. This is just how rare. More than 380 million doses of the vaccine have been administered in the United States. We're going on half a billion doses of the vaccine. And that's between December 14th and September 13th, 2021. And the death rate from COVID-19 from the vaccine is zero 0.0020%. 0.0020%. 0.0020%, which it does equal thousands. It does. But on the totality, it is a minuscule number. 
Some people do have reactions to all kinds of things. People die from taking Benadryl and other seemingly innocuous medications because of adverse reactions based on their particular physiology. The vaccine is safe. It is effective. It is free. Reading from the CDC.gov, uh, the selected adverse events reported after COVID-19 vaccinations, FDA requires healthcare providers to report any death after COVID-19 vaccination to VAERS, even if it's unclear whether the vaccine was the cause. Reports of adverse events to VAERS following vaccination, including deaths, do not necessarily mean that the vaccine caused the health problem. The other thing about this as a rebuttal to this nonsense is the fact that uh, Tucker Carlson's own company has a very stringent vaccine reporting policy. I'm going to read from a tweet from Oliver Darcy, who is a, a media correspondent. He reports on the goings on with the media. I think he's partnered up with uh, Brian Stelter from CNN. Um, this is a tweet from him. Fox Corp HR chief Kevin Lord just sent out a memo to staff saying that 90% of full-time employees reported that they are fully vaccinated after the company mandated everyone report their vaccination status. Lord says, well, they, they will soon introduce daily COVID testing for the unvaccinated because that's what they do now. If you're going to choose not to be vaccinated, you're going to be tested on a daily or every other day basis. Here's that memo from Lord from the HR of Fox. Following our request for employees to upload their vaccination status in our secure system. See, even that to Fox, that's that's dystopian. I'm uploading my information into a database. Oh, there's a registry. Oh, my God. Uh, we are pleased to share that more than 90% of our full-time employees reported that they are fully vaccinated. This is important information for our company to know as we continue to implement our phased return to office timing and procedures. Soon we will introduce another important health and safety measure for access to our facilities. Daily COVID testing for the small group of employees who are not vaccinated or have not provided their vaccination status. Additional details about this protocol will be shared with the relevant employees in the near future. We appreciate your continued cooperation as we work together in the best interests of our shared well-being. Thank you for being a valued Fox team member as an exciting fall season across all our business is already underway. So as he rails against Joe Biden, as he rails against uh, the cohesiveness of our United States military, Tucker Carlson is under the boot. Don't tread on me, boss. And furthermore, since he is such an expert about the military, having never served, and I, having served for many years in the United States Marine Corps, let me tell you, Tucker, there is a slate of vaccines that are required to join the military. Over 15 different vaccines. When I was in boot camp, they line you up and they've got these air guns that just vaccinate you. Chink, 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 chink. One after the other, after the other, after the other. It's an assembly line of vaccinations. Oh, the horror. Tucker Carlson, dipshit extraordinaire, smooth brain goon. Anyway, I, I, what do you think about all of this? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Thank you for engaging with my content. Thanks for connecting with me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, the social media. <laughs> um, if I bring you value, please consider supporting my work. You can click the join button, become a channel member. You can also go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. All of these are fantastic ways to help produce my content. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.